Now I'll switch back to the query analyzer to show you one final type of join that you may find interesting and useful. And that is a join from a table to another field in the same table. In this case, we have in our customer table a field called referrer. And the referrer field itself holds a customer ID. So if I want to pick up the name of a referrer, what I need to do is I need to join the customer table to itself in order to find the actual name corresponding to the customer ID that's in that referrer field. So I'm going to select TBL customer first name and last name as customer here. And then I'm going to select the referrer's first name and last name as referrer name. And I'm selecting this from TBL customer joined to with an inner join TBL customer. But if I use TBL customer twice in the from clause, I must use an alias so that we can have some way of distinguishing between those two customers, those two different fields from the customer table. So we're joining TBL customer to itself. We're calling the second example referrer. We're joining it on referrer ID in the first one corresponding to customer ID in the second one. And this is what allows me to pick up the last name and first name of my referrer coming from that second instance of TBL customer. And you can also use a self-join in an outer join here. So if I run this, you'll see that I'm going to retrieve information on any referrers that do exist but if there's no refer, I'll still see that customer's name. So I'm able to see those customers who have or do not have a refer in the database by using a left outer join to bring in all the information from the customer table and any matching information from another instance of the customer table just to look up who the referrer was for that customer.